And hey, 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 what's up everyone? Thy Reloaded here again. Alright, so I'm going to bring you something a little different than farming. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of how to mod your Borderlands 2 game save, okay? Uh, first video on this is going to be more or less just a basic overview of the programs that are needed and all that. So let's first start out with, obviously you're going to need a flash drive. Well, the flash drive, I believe, either has to be a 4 gig or an 8 gig uh, flash drive. And you kind of have to dedicate it to the Xbox uh, because it, the Xbox will format it when you put that in. So once you put the flash drive in that you have dedicated to the Xbox and it formats it and all that, then you're going to just go over to your hard drive uh, on the Xbox, go under the games and then Borderlands 2 you'll see and then you're gonna go and you're gonna move over or not move but you're gonna copy your character saves so like I have my siren my assassin and all that you just wanna move those guys over to the flash drive well n not move them you don't wanna move them you don't wanna delete them off your hard drive you wanna copy them and then paste them onto your heart onto the flash drive excuse me once you do that you can just remove the flash drive and you're going to put it into your computer all right so once you got it in the computer don't worry um if you go under uh my computer and it's if you're on windows 7 uh on xp it doesn't show it like this uh windows 8 i do not know i have not tested it with windows 8 um and i haven't done with any ios software for apple either so it's, see how it's red right here now once again I'm working on a Windows 7 machine and there's nothing in the folder okay well that's okay because the mic because Microsoft Xbox uses its own files that can't be seen by the computer uh, like this um, other files can be but not the files that we're working with right now alright so after that you're gonna need two programs alright the first program that you're going to need is actually going to be this one. It is called Horizon. You can uh, download this right here at uh, xboxmb.com backslash horizon backslash. You're going to download that there. Um, I'll put the links for them in the description of the video. After that, you're going to need an awesome, awesome program called Gibd Borderlands 2 Game Save Editor. So, the easiest thing to do is just type in gib.me. It'll automatically take you to the blog version. Um, once you get here, in the beginning, there's always going to be the newest one up here. That's going to be the top one. Uh, right now, we're on revision 155. Alright, so you're going to go right down just a little bit from there, and you're going to download that. Right, let's clear that out. You're going to download that. It's going to give you some... Uh, known problems and stuff with that but it's uh it's alright it still works perfectly and uh, it's really really nice to use and helpful alright now after that well let me let me also say that my main character on Borderlands 2 my main character is a siren she has not been tampered with she is fully legit so all of my other videos that I've made um, where people have asked me about my uh, clip size on my Maggie and all that, they are all legit. It is all done with just class mods and stuff like that on how I get them. I have not modded my main character one bit. Now, my other ones, just to play around with, since I don't really care about them too much, they're just fun to mess with and play with and play with other people with and stuff like that. You know, they may have a little bit of modding done to them, but, you know, I don't normally, normally play with them. They're just for, you know, shits and giggles and playing around all right so once you get them downloaded and all that obviously they're going to be uh in your uh downloads folder right in here uh don't worry about this stuff if that'll delete there we go uh they'll come up in here um then just uh you know install the horizon and then the Gib save editor, it's going to be in a WinRAR or a, a zip file. You either use WinRAR or, or a uh, WinZip, whichever program you use to extract uh, zipped files. 
All right, now they're going to pull up in the zip file, obviously. And then when you extract them, I like to make my own folder for it. So as you see, I have a BL2 folder. Inside the BL2, uh, it has assemblies, gibbed, gibbed, license, readme, revisions, and horizon, and mod, and uh, org. Um, when you make your folder, just drag the entire zip file into here and then extract it into here. Uh, for the gibbed save editors, editor, that's it. That is, that's going to have the assemblies, the save editor, the save editor config, the license, the readme, and revisions. Those all have to stay together in order for the program to work correctly. Verizon, you will just make a shortcut into this. And then I like to make two folders. One folder, it says mod for the uh, modded game saves, and then org is going to be for original so you're gonna make a copy of your game save so just in case anything messes up you can always revert back to the original alright so the first thing you're gonna do now remember we got the flash drive plugged in to your computer you're gonna open up horizon now both these programs I'm running on a Windows 7 machine pretty good setup they do take a little bit of time to open so don't be worried if it's not opening if they come up with an error or something like that normally it has to do with like uh, frame network and stuff like that just uh, figure out the correct ones that you need and get them downloaded from Microsoft alright so as you see when you open up horizon this is how mine pulls up since I already have my flash drive plugged, plugged in you're gonna see they come up with a flash drive um, under games is gonna be Borderlands 2 so we're gonna double click on that to open that one up Alright, so then you see all of my saves that I have moved over. Some are mine, some are my friends, so on and so forth. Alright, so we're just going to work with my, uh, my uh, Zero, so my Assassin. Now this is how the uh, Xbox saves the game, so don't worry about that um, in the way it looks. Alright, so I, what I do from here is that I just click on them and I drag them out to the gray part, as you can see that uh, you get that little triangle or the uh, the arrow with the little box so just let go and there it is actually I'm gonna blow this up and make this a little bit bigger there we go okay so from here you don't want to mess with the profile ID the device ID anything like that that is linked to your Xbox you do not want to change any of this stuff okay don't change the title name you can change the display name okay that's okay uh, it'll just display different in your in your Xbox when you do it so even though it says that I'm a level one at Claptrap's place when I'm done I can just make it say zero if I wanted to alright so from here you're gonna click on the contents tab right here is gonna be the game save for zero or for the assassin so you're gonna click on them and you're gonna hit extract selected Alright, it's going to bring you up where you want it to uh, extract it to. So, obviously, mine was under my desktop. Let's see if I can find it here. There's my Borderlands. And I want to put this into my mod folder because this is what I want to mod. So, open that up. Game save. Save. File extract successfully. Okay. Now, we're done in here for right now. So, we can minimize them. Now, like I said, I like to make a backup, so I'm going to go back under my mod, I'm going to copy that, I'm going to go back into my original, and control V, and we're just going to put him in there, okay, so this is going to be my backup one. Alright, so after you've got that all extracted, you're going to open up Gibbed Borderlands to Save Edit, the one with the uh, handsome Jack's looking face on it. You know, this is just a basic overview of the program. We're not going to get in too, de too deep on this one. I'm going to blow this up as well. All right, so the first thing you're going to do, welcome to Gibd. It may look a little overwhelming if you've used this before or if you've looked at it. Um, yeah, it looks the same as all the other revisions, more or less. So from here, if you want to open your game save, save you're going to go to open. If you want to make a new one, you can always just make a new one straight from scratch. So you're going to click on open. 
and then we're going to go under the desktop again because that's where my folder is and then my mod and then game save click on that okay now make sure that you're paying attention down here okay see how it says PC save file it will not open if you try that if you're using Xbox it has to be an Xbox file PlayStation PlayStation PC PC so if I try to open a, P, uh, a PC file it's gonna throw an error just like that because it's an unsupported version so since I'm playing on Xbox I want to make sure that I open up a Xbox save file so there we go all right, so save slot. So we're under general right now, okay? Save slot. Leave it at four, or whichever one yours is at. Just leave it alone. The platform 360. If you want to change it, you can. But if you're playing on one system, you don't really need to. Your class, your experience level. All right. So say if you're a say you're a level 10, okay? and you want to make it the highest level now which is 61 so just more or less just click type in 61 and then enter more or less and now the character is level 61 okay now below here, here let me change this so I can show you what, what I'm doing right here actually okay so if I was a level 20 assassin see how my experience points only say like this much All right. 302,000 all right if you put in 61 make sure you hit sync by the experience points because this is what's going to give you all your skill points to unlock okay just the regular set number of skill points 61 skill points or however many it is now 55 or whatever it is total now so hit sync and now I got the 5,985 and so on so now that's synced general skill points does not work anymore since the last uh, patch I believe uh, neither does specialist skill points alright so your name's obviously zero or whatever you have it named as it'd be you know from some mine they're the I reloaded and whatnot you can change your head um, you can change your skin. Okay. And that's for the main page. For the second page, we're going to move on to currency real quick. Currency is your total number of credits. So obviously, max that out. Um, I believe that this does now work. So instead of 99, you can put f 500. And then 99.99, you can change this to whatever it is. Um, obviously, obviously only to max. You can't go any farther. All right. Don't worry about the reserved slots. Moving on to fast travel. All right. Fast travel more or less shows where you have been. You can click on the place to open them up in the fast travels. Backpack obviously shows you what you have equipped, your weapons and all that good stuff. You can make new items, or new weapons, new items, paste codes. We'll get into this stuff in um, a couple of videos down the line when we get into weapon modding. So more or less if I just show you, we can pull up the basic repeater. This is the entire layout of what that, what that basic repeater is. Okay, and we'll get it into changing stuff around in here to make hybrid weapons, black rarity weapons, and uh, just overall badass weapons. All right, so we'll get into that in a couple of videos down the line. Bank, even though there's nothing in here, I'll just make a new weapon. So now this unknown weapon would be in my bank, in my bank vault. All right, so this is going to show all the weapons that are in your bank vault, even though this character doesn't have any in there. The raw tab for basics, I'm going to say right now, stay away from it. This is for basics. If you don't know what you're doing, or if you're, you know, a little hesitant and you don't want to uh, mess up your game, I'd say stay away. But if you want to mess around in it, 
more than welcome to. I would probably suggest doing some research on the stuff beforehand. Um, I will be going through what uh, a lot of these things do and what they change later on in the videos. Alright, so that's a basic overview of the Gibbs Saved Editor. Alright, so afterwards, okay, once you finish modding what you want to mod, you're going to hit the Save button. Alright, and now we'll make sure that we're in the mod folder. Make sure that you know everything looks the same as before. Just click on the old save game, hit save. It's going to ask you, do you want to replace it? Yes, because we changed things. Okay, so now we can minimize this. Now it's saved. We're going to open back up Horizon. All right, and now this is our old one. Okay, we don't want the old one anymore. We want the one that we just changed. So now we have to import it. So we're going to click on it, then we're going to right click, and we're going to hit replace. This is a crucial step. If you don't do this, it's not going to load your uh, modded game back to your flash drive and then so on and so forth down the line to the Xbox. So you're going to hit replace. Make sure you're under the modded folder. Click on the save game and then open. File replace successfully. Beautiful. So after that, this is what I do just to verify that it's gone through. Just hit the save, rehash, and resign tab. One, two, three. I just do it three times. All right. And then that is it really. He's still there. Don't have to worry about him or anything like that. So, yep. And then you can, once you're done with that, you can remove your flash drive, put it back in the Xbox, go back to your hard drives, and then you're going to copy the new one that's in there over to your hard drive. And it's going to ask you, do you want to replace it? You hit yes. And then, boom, your modded game is going to be on your Xbox. All right, so I can say this, that uh, use at your own risk. If you mess your game up or anything like that, uh, you always have that uh, backup one that you made in the original folder if you made it. All right, so, yeah. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask, post comments, like, subscribe, and all that. Uh, thanks for watching. Happy modding. Try not to break your game. <laughs> Check back for uh, other in-depth videos.